Viruses are smart. Viruses get their energy and they replicate by infecting other living organisms. In this case, as we have person-to-person -person spread, viruses mutate. That's their mechanism of survival. Um, as viruses mutate, they can become either more pathogenic, which means that they will cause more, more likely to cause disease, or less pathogenic. So generally what we tend to see then is some viruses will emerge and disappear. Some will become more persistent. With respect to the pandemic, particularly at this time, there are four variants of concern. Uh, those four variants include the alpha variant, uh, the beta variant, the gamma variant, and the delta variant. And up until recently, the alpha variant was the dominant strain that was being monitored. Uh, delta was first identified in India in December of 2020, and since then, uh, spread to some European countries. First was identified in the United States in March of, uh, of this year. And really between March to this month, uh, we have seen such a rapid rate of increase. So it's extremely transmissible, which is partly why it's, it's of concern. Take as a, an, an analogy, if you had um, someone who had the alpha variant infection and they were unmasked, unvaccinated, and were around other people unmasked in an unmasked situation, from that encounter, there might be an infection to two, two and a half people. In comparison with the Delta variant, what you see is a similar situation of unmasked, unvaccinated, um, you're going to have three to four people come down with COVID. So it is twice as, as uh, infectious. It's been said recently that this is now a pandemic of the unvaccinated, which honestly, that's that doesn't sit well with me, you know. The, I, I, it doesn't sit well with me that um, we would ever come to a place where we accept that uh, being unvaccinated and the risks of that is, is at all acceptable. But that's not to imply that, the, that there aren't breakthrough cases. Breakthrough would be defined as infections that occur in persons who've been vaccinated, previously vaccinated. However, what we know is that even if you're vaccinated and you um, do have a COVID illness, it's, it's, it's milder as opposed to if you were unvaccinated. I love this analogy, which is that the, the vaccine is not a force field. There is no vaccine that's 100 percent, but the vaccine is not a force field. The vaccine is an armor or, or the vaccine would be comparable to putting your seatbelt on. And so the more likely that we arm ourselves, the, the better we would be. So even if you do have that rare breakthrough, you'll have a milder, a milder episode. The, the, the chances of having a, a severe enough case that would cause hospitalization is extremely, extremely rare. There's so much emotion on both sides, right? There's, there's anger on the side of those who are unvaccinated. There's anger on the side of those who are vaccinated. There's frustration. There is lack of trust. And to me, all those emotions are okay because it still speaks to engagement. You know, we're, that means we're still able to talk about this. We're still able to dialogue. We haven't come to a place of, of acceptance. And I never want us to come to a place of acceptance where we would say that we are okay with 50% or, or more, depending on the areas that we're looking at, of our communities not being protected. As a clinician, I, I've done a lot of my, my own research because if I'm going to counsel a patient, I want to make sure that I speak from a place of knowledge. Um, as a parent and as a family member, I've also had to counsel my own children and family members, and I want to speak from a place of knowledge and a place of, of confidence. So, you know, I think that it's just important to continue to, to, to have this conversation, dialogue, if you have a family member or a friend who's already been vaccinated, who like you maybe has gone through that question process of should I, you know, what are my concerns, talk to them about how they arrived at the conclusion to, to vaccinate. But we should never come to a place where, where we are accepting um, that we are not all protected.